Hey y'all. Pairing a roasted chicken leg with butternut squash and wilted greens makes for a very filling and nutrient-dense meal that also happens to taste great. What could be better? How about the fact that it's relatively hands-off when it comes to cooking? For the most part, you just have to set everything up and you can go do other things. And on that note, let's get cooking. First, heat the oven to 400 and line a baking sheet in foil. Place the chicken quarter on the baking sheet and loosen the skin from the flesh. Pour a little avocado oil under the skin and a pinch of salt. Use your fingers to spread the oil and the salt around over the flesh. Then add a little more oil and a pinch of salt and also some pepper this time to the skin. Use your fingers as well to spread everything out on the skin. Place the chicken quarter in the oven and roast for 35 to 40 minutes or until fully cooked through. That means it'll be white all the way through, the juices will run clear, and the thermometer will read right around 165. While the chicken is in the oven, add the butternut squash to a tall walled pan with some water, or chicken broth if you have it. You want enough to cover the bottom of the pan, but you don't need it to cover the squash. It should be about two cups. Put the lid on and turn the heat on to medium hot. Cook the squash for 20 to 25 minutes or until fork tender which means that a fork can easily pierce the flesh. Next, heat a little oil in a pan over a medium low flame. Add all of the greens, the spinach, the collards, and the kale to the pan with a little salt and cover. Cook the greens for 10 minutes or until just a little wilted. When the greens are done, turn off the heat. Add a couple dashes of apple cider vinegar and mix together. Set that aside. When the squash is done cooking, turn off the heat and pour off most of the water. You wanna reserve just a couple of tablespoons. Then use an immersion blender to mash slash puree the squash. Place a dollop or two of squash on a plate with a pinch of salt and pepper. Top with some wilted greens and glaze part or all of the chicken quarter on top of everything. You can eat that chicken quarter as one serving or you can cut the thigh from the drumstick to make two servings. Enjoy.